Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Get Real episode 3. Now I realise this is in the middle of April and we've missed March so this is a combination of both months so March slash April and the first thing I'll talk about is I've just received my MSA starter pack which you may have seen on uh, Twitter because I did take a picture of it when it arrived. Uh, it's uh, basically something the British organisation does um, where you get an application form for your national B license, you get a, uh, a DVD and it just goes over the basic rules of racing, how to get involved and uh, over the flags as well. So for the actual license uh, my aim is to try and get that in July, uh, that's when I'm off next time off work so hopefully I can get that at my local racetrack, well I'll say it's local, it's uh, an hour away and that'll be at Alton Park hopefully. I'll try to bring footage of that uh, but obviously my main focus is to actually um, get the license so if I can get footage I will if I can't then unfortunately I can't but hopefully we should get that license pretty easily uh, the other thing that happened in March actually at the end of March is I went to this MG event in Silverstone now of course uh, you may have seen on Twitter um, and you will have also heard me mention it in previous episodes about the MG trophy now they were there, but it was a non-championship round. Uh, there's also a couple of other championships which were championship rounds, and that was the MG Metro Cup, and I think the Cockshoot Cup as well was a championship round. I'm not sure how that actual runs, um, but it looked good racing anyway. But you'll see on the screen at the moment we've got the MG ZR 170 of uh, Boomerang Tang, otherwise known as Dave in the real world. Uh, it looks a really good car. Uh, it, it looks a good class to race in as well as ZR170. I mean, you, you'll be seeing the footage now of the racing, and when I was watching it, I started off at Cops, sort of start, it was all really good. And you'll notice that there's certain cars pulling away from certain uh, others as well. Uh, there's three classes in this championship. We've got uh, ZR190s, which are 190 brake horsepower, uh, ZR160s, and they run on slicks, so that's like the top top class. Uh, obviously they are more expensive to run a season on. Uh, you then have the ZR170 which uh, Boomer's in and uh, there was, that had the most cars here. Now remember it's a non-championship round so there's not many competitors here but as you know as a sort of trial event for the season it's still a really good thing to attend. Uh, so there were a few cars in that and then there was one um, ZR160 which is the bottom end of the, class, uh, of the classes and that is a production uh, basically a road spec car for racing so it's obviously just had the safety stuff uh, added into it now out of all the classes there the ZR170 looked amazing they were racing throughout the field there's different battles happening everywhere and no matter where, whether you're at Cops or when I went down to Luffield to watch racing it looked absolutely awesome and fun now the thing with the ZR170 though is the running costs for the season I think on the website it quotes like uh, 8 8 to 10k now that's obviously a little too high so if I can't run in that I can't run in that but that's my main goal I think I think this this trophy looks really good uh, unless I get a sponsor of course and that'll make it far easier to get racing um, so if there is a sponsor out there you know get in touch uh, but otherwise it will uh, maybe be in the lower lower class or it may be in another championship because I have been looking a lot around and uh, other two there's another couple of championships that have sort of come to light from all the research I do. Basically, my dinner hour, I go googling and find out what people are saying. So the other two championships are the production BMW series and also the low cost championship. Uh, they've been apparently um, they've got really good sort of uh, set rules as well. So you know it's really cost effective to race and you know budget wise, you're not spending a fortune, but you can still go and race. And that's the aim really now, is because I want to do more than one season. So if I can actually, you know, get the car, and then you know, initially the first season would be hard, but second season would be easier. Um, the aim is to keep racing, so you know we can all still enjoy it. And of course, I can actually put a GoPro or something inside the car, so you'll see racing. You'll be with me racing as well, and then I'll upload it to the YouTube channel, and it'll all be uh, awesome. So I plan to go to those two series sort of events uh, when they're close to where I live and uh, hopefully get an idea of actually uh, where I want to race. Now there was also the MG Metro Cup at Silverstone and that looked good you know as you can see from the first 
uh, from the first corner the of the start uh, you know, it all looks really good they have three classes in there as well uh, but the, the other series do look a bit more I don't know racy and modern and I want a bit of that as well so later this year uh, obviously I said I'm going to do the uh, the race license to make sure I can go racing uh, I'll hopefully uh, try and do some test drives in any of them uh, to make sure I do want to join that series I mean I'm gonna keep continuing to visit the events so you know get a really good feel for sort of the paddock and the environment I mean the MG trophy was has an amazing atmosphere because uh, there was somebody who had an accident in qualifying and um, when the car got back everybody jumped in to help out you know other teams other drivers jumped in to help out and really you know make sure he could go racing again unfortunately he couldn't because it was a bit too damaged but the fact that they did that it looked, it looked really good uh, but that's it for this episode uh, I hope you've enjoyed the racing in the background it was really good to actually go to some of these events and you should go to them too I mean they're, they're really cheap to get into and you know you can wander around the teams and you, know, you can chat to drivers and stuff like that and as you can see it's not that busy so you know you can get front row seats have a look at some of the corners and how the car's going round so yeah I hope you've enjoyed this episode and I'll see you again in May for Let's Get Real episode 4